Well, good morning, and welcome back to more Pikmin 4. I had to think about it for a second there. Uh, we don't have a whole lot. Well, we do have a whole lot to do. We don't have a whole lot to do here anymore. Although, I guess we could move the base back over there if we ever wanted to. Actually, I don't think we could because we don't have enough room. Anyway, uh, we unlocked a whole bunch of new features. Okay, what is the... what is this? Danger is constant when exploring an unknown planet like this one. The skills I'll teach you and Ochi might just save you. As long as you and Ochi keep building up his pup drive, there's nothing the two of you can't do. I'm assuming he eventually gets big enough for me to ride, like with Olimar. Well, time to start training. Okay, sure. Time to commence the training. The journey will be long and arduous, but I have no doubt you can handle it. Learn all of his skills, five out of unknown. Okay. It has been, this curriculum has been passed down through many generations. If his pup drive is built up sufficiently, he can train and learn new skills without a problem. As for what skills to learn and when to learn them, that depends on the rescue approach you want to take. Go the buff path if you want him to carry heavy things. Go chomp if taking down creatures is your priority. But keep Dandori practices in mind and think carefully about what will help you plan out your duties efficiently. Okay. Um, when he's injured, he'll recover as long as he takes it easy. He hasn't gotten hurt yet, but I feel like this is going to be important. Okay, so this just determines how quickly is he, he heals. At the moment, I don't think he heals at all. So let's go ahead. Oh, it requires three to teach him that. It requires three to teach him anything, I guess. So I can only learn one thing here. I do think buff is gonna be incredibly useful, although I'm interested. All right, level two command. Tell your partner to go to your base or call them to you. Oh, okay, so you can command him to go away or you can command him to come to you. That seems really useful. Or you can tell him to go to a specific place on the map. If you get lost or just need to gather more of them, you can direct Ochi to gather Pikmin for you while he learns this, when he learns this skill. Oh, okay, so he'll go around and collect Pikmin. These seem like incredibly useful uh, skills to get. I do think I should probably get heal, but honestly, the command skills seem like the most useful at the moment. <laughs> okay, cool, we'll give him a bone. Every time you complete training, you'll get a scrummy bone. Give it to Ochi as a reward. This seems like an opportune time to teach you how to use items. Okay, from your actions, you can select your pack. You'll find your items, so just pick the one you want to use. And then feed it to Doggo. Okay. Uh, excuse? Okay, maybe I can't do it in here. Maybe I have to do it. I'm pressing the button. Maybe I can't, maybe I just can't do it from in this area. Maybe I have to do it out in the field. I don't know. I'm going to use, introduce, okay, yeah. This is Russ. You can use raw materials to make components of items and gear. Yeah, let's, let's look at the lab. I know I need materials to cross that bridge, but uh, there's other places we can go too. I may run out of components from time to time. If that happens, visit the lab the next day after I've restocked. Okay, acquire all the gear from the lab. Sure. We can get the charging horn. Press X and this horn will order the selected Pikmin to charge. Press repeatedly to charge with the entire squad. Oh, okay. So now uh, we can do the... This would allow us to do the charge with the Pikmin, not just with Ochi. I, I do really want that. Um, that's just additional thing I can do. And we can get a scrummy bone... Oh, this heals Ochi when he's hurt. Okay, that's good to know. We'll protect you from getting knocked out, plus it detects your low HP and automatically heals you. 
Oh, I can just get them. Oh, okay. So the first one's free. Got it. After that, I have to purchase them. Okay, cool. Well, that's that's fine. Yes, we got the charging horn. We can press X to blow the horn to send the Pikmin out. Uh, press X once. Only your selected Pikmin or Ochi will charge, but keep pressing it and the entire squad will go. Perfect. All right, cool. All right, so that's everything we can do out here. So this is how we get power-ups in the game. Uh, we got those in two and three as well, just not really in one. Um, all right, cool. So let's go explore. We still need to continue exploring this place because we don't have enough energy to go to another area. So let's go to the Sun Speckled Terrace. And the first thing I'm going to do there is take a look at my map because there's definitely more areas I want to explore. All right, here we go. So let's see what we need to do. We need to build that bridge and... Oh, geez. Okay, hi. Oh, she's grown a bit, so this morning I decided to drill him on his jump. Oh, we can jump now. Okay, now we... Okay, well, we can, we can ride Ochi now. Lock up to Ochi, press Y to mount, and press again to dismount. And yeah, we can we can jump him and we can also have him carry our Pikmin on him. Cool. Hit something with a rush to launch the Pikmin on his back and have them land on your target. Cool. All right, well, that actually opens up a whole lot of things we can do. Uh, let's look at the map. We need to be able to build a bridge to go that way, but now that we can jump, we can come back over here. Uh, we can also go back to that landing site. Um, oh, you can also just command your dude to move. Interesting. Oh, I bet now that we can rush, we could probably like head bonk right there to get that part. Uh, I do want to get up there, which means I'm just going to have to do a whole bunch of walking, which is fine. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, let's get the Ice Pikmin out. Actually, do I even need Ice Pikmin right now? I don't think I do. Let's just withdraw 30 of these guys. See if Ochi can track down the scent of the Ice Pikmin. Maybe. Alright. Oh, wait. Can I use... Never mind. <laughs> Alright. I was wondering if maybe I could just switch to the other location, but it doesn't matter that much. Um, where am I going? I want to come back over here. Yes. All right, we're going to cancel that and I'm going to go on my own. I don't think uh, rushing is actually that much faster of a way to move. So I'm not going to worry about that. See, I already went up there. I believe... Oh! There's more stuff in here. Wasn't sure if there'd be more stuff in there or not, but I guess there is. Okay, sure. Cool. You guys go get all that. Oh, the dirt mound just fell. Okay. That's, that's fine, then. Now that I'm on Ochi, I'm assuming I can probably throw things higher, huh? Uh, there was a way to lock on, wasn't there? Or maybe I just do... Aha! <laughs> that's how we do it. Cool. Yeah, you guys carry that back. I'm actually just going to run back here and recollect my Pikmin so that I can use them for more stuff. Oh, I can I can hop my way up there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should be able to just 
jump this. That's not what I... That's not how I jump. Uh... That's how I jump. Okay. <laughs> I should be able to jump that. Yeah, I can. Okay. So we do have another cave here. But we also have this. Let's see. Where else can we go? Oh, no, it's a... <sighs> okay. Fine. System will mark caves. Clear. Yeah. If you go to that spot, the symbol disappears. Okay. Yeah. I'm... Um, that's, that's cool, man. So I don't know if that cave will bring me over here or not. But I do know that I'm pretty sure I could just jump up there. Yeah, I can just jump up there. So I'm not that worried about it. And it also told us that... Aha. Aha. Yeah, we can just do that to knock the ball down and then send a Pikmin back at it. All right, cool. I'm going to just have them carry that back. And as soon as they are finished carrying that back, uh, we can go in there. Or I guess... Oh, wait, here's an idea. Yeah, let's just move the base to here. That way, that'll just shorten things. <laughs> There we go. That'll just make things easier. Cool. Yeah, I'm I'm aware that we got more Sparkwium. Let's go check out the Hectic Hollows. Uh, Moss was unable to climb up the wall. Someone or something built a big wall inside the cave. The Pikmin and I were able to scramble up, but the Moss was unable to climb up the wall. Oh, Moss was the name of his dog. Okay. Leave her behind for now and hope we can find a place to meet up. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go take a look. Oh, I guess it's automatically bringing some ice Pikmin with us. I guess that's fair. That's fine, I suppose. Okay. Uh, as I was saying before the loading screen, it looks like the Ice Pikmin might be similar to the uh, Purple Pikmin or Pink Pikmin in the second game, in that they don't have... What does this do? Oh, okay. Um, in that they don't really give us an ability to... Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, we've already got people working on this. Ah, we've got some Pikmin up there. Okay. Um, well, let's go rescue them. I like that we have greater range with this. That's pretty cool. I really just wanted to flatten things, but sure, you guys can do stuff, I guess. <laughs> uh, these are more ice Pikmin, aren't they? Okay, yeah, I gotta hop up there to be able to grab them. That's fair. I believe we can turn this partial construction into a vital asset. We'll process raw materials into clay at the Beagle and use it as building material to finish the structure. These raw materials are only valuable when brilliant minds give them higher purpose, after all. Once you're at a construction site, simply direct your Pikmin and Ochi to start building. Okay. Sure. Okay, so they're gonna work on building stuff, I guess. Ah, they are taking the raw materials out of the ship in the form of clay, and then adding it to this. Okay, that's how that's working. Okay, cool. Uh, and then while they're doing that, I can hop up here and pluck the rest of these ice Pikmin. There we go, and that'll finish that wall. 
which I it sounded like the Pikmin could climb. You can scurry right up this expertly crafted wall and explore whatever awaits. But Ochi isn't built for climbing. Okay, so yeah, Ochi can't follow us, but the rest of the Pikmin can. Got it. Uh, let's call these guys back. Okay, and then... I believe Ochi also couldn't swim, so let's get off of Ochi. Uh, how do I dismiss Pikmin? Can I dismiss Pikmin? I might not be able to dismiss them. I might just have to throw them. I want this one. Uh, I don't want to have these guys climb. <laughs> because that seems like a real dangerous thing to try and do. Uh, when I won't be following them. Why don't you go over there, too? Oh, wait. Uh, I think I can... Why can I not command Ochi? Is the stick just not working? I feel like I should be able to tell him to go do things. Like, go be over there. Or, like, stay here. What is going on? Why am I not able to do things? I gotta figure this out. Oh! Okay, so I can set quick functions to these. You can only use... Uh, the control stick when holding your Joy-Con controller and so on. Weird, whatever. Okay, so up will tell me missions. That is useless to me. Um, instead, I'm going to say... Go here. Uh, disband. I don't know what pack does. But we'll do commands there. Um, actually, no. We'll do commands on this one. And I don't know what I want to do for down... Uh, let's go with... Go to base. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, cool. So then I can do commands from here. Perfect. Alright, uh, tell Ochi to... Oh, sniff out Ice Pikmin, cool. Uh, go to base. There. Because these guys can float. Oh, or I guess I could have ignored that entirely and just thrown 10 ice Pikmin in the water because then they'll freeze it. I'm an idiot sometimes. The water froze almost instantaneously. Now you can travel right across the top. Yeah, okay. No, I'm just, I'm just a dummy, but that's okay because OG can continue to stay there because he's still not going to be able to do anything. Um... Except I need OG to be able to get up there, so... Wait. Come here. We're learning. We're learning how to pop. Alright, come here, boy. We're gonna ride you. Alright. I was worried that doing that would make them... Mm, just... I was worried that crossing paths with them would make them unfreeze the water, but I guess the water stays frozen, which is fine by me. Is there anything up here for you to look at? No, not really. Okay. Well, let's call these guys back. Yes. Okay. Once you call all of them back, the ice does melt. Good to know. All right, cool. Uh, so now we need to get off. We'll command Ochi to go to the base. And I will take everyone else up with me. Here we go. Okay, cool. 
And then I want to command you. Charge! Yeah! And yeah, uh, they, they told us before that once you defeat, if you defeat an enemy while they're frozen, then instead of dropping a body, they will drop a, uh, they will drop nectar. Come back here. Don't do that. That sounds like a great way for you to go get yourself killed. Speaking of which, let's go save these guys. All right. Uh, you are working on pushing that. So go also push that. There we go. Uh, we need Ice Pikmin for this. There we go. Now we can break it. There we go. You guys pick that up. Cool. The rest of you come with me. Uh, I don't know what to do about that, but sure. All right, and then... Can I command Ochi? Oh, he can't collect the Pikmin yet, but that's okay. He can, he can come to me. Okay, so we broke that. Go collect. There's Ochi. Hey, buddy. Guess I don't need to continue having the red Pikmin for this. Ochi can't get past the fence, but the Pikmin can. There we go. <laughs> Just go collect it. All right, uh, let's get on Ochi and we ride. Oh, and we ride. Cool. Ah, and there is another exit, which probably will pop us back out where we were. Okay. Let's see. Was there was there anything else to collect here? No, I think we got it all. Cool. All right. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's everything. Oh, now I'm really curious, though. If we walk over Nectar... Okay, no. If we walk over Nectar with people who aren't flowered, uh, they don't hop off to get flowered. Good to know. All right, cool. Well, I think we can just take this and all the Pikmin come with us. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, that was a successful dive into the cave. All right, we're in the final sub-level of the Hectic Hollows. For some reason, I thought we were getting out, but I was clearly mistaken. Ooh, there's a castaway nearby. Okay, cool. Um, well, let's break that. Oh, interesting. Ochi actually has a, uh, a little timer for him. Yeah, I thought I saw an enemy back here. What if I just jump up here? Can I just do this? <laughs> uh, that's great. I like that. Alright, cool. What's in here then? More ice pigment. Sweet. We like them. Um, let's go ahead and chuck all the ice pigment at the nectar. And I chuck the rest of them at, at it too, just to make sure that everyone's all flowered up. Unlike this one ice pigment, who is not flowered up. That's better. Everybody be flowered. Okay, cool. And we'll chuck all the ice. Ooh, I see something hanging there, too. We might be able to get that. Might as 
we'll continue breaking. Break it faster. Cool. Oh, yeah, that's definitely a sparkly up there. All right. Uh, and then jump. Yeah. Can I... Can I target that? Can I... Can I... There we go. There you go, guys. Go get that. And... Last but not least, I think we just... Headbutt this. Yep, there we go. <laughs> go carry that poor, poor captain. Alright, cool. Well, while you guys are doing that, I can break the rest of these. Which yielded nothing. Fair enough. But we got a captain back. And that's an important thing. Or I guess an officer, not necessarily a captain. Uh, we got... The treasure appraiser, an acclaimed treasure appraiser who's traveled extensively. His unique techniques are were developed in... Yeah, he developed the treasure appraisal AI. Cool. There's no rescue officer. Who is this? How'd he get here? He shows that he's a treasure appraiser, but what's he doing on the planet? I wonder. You remember the voyage log that arrived with Olimar's SOS signal? Perhaps there were others who picked up his signal, saw the log, and decided to come all this way in search of treasure. Maybe they ended up like Captain Olimar too, shipped direct and stranded. I'd like to think that this appraiser is the only one, but we should keep an eye out for more civilian castaways. Okay, so there's not just our crew and Olimar on here, on the planet. There's also castaways. Civilian castaways on the planet. Rescue when you come across. Interesting. There's just all kinds of different things to collect, huh? All right. Well, fair enough. I think... Yeah, that's everything. We've got everything in Hectic Hollow, so let's head back to the surface. And we've got plenty of ice Pikmin now to be able to uh, freeze the lake nearby. So we can do that too. Got a treasure appraiser and... Oh, okay, cool. So rescuing someone gave us more pup drive. That's good to know. We also got a whole bunch of sparkleum. And we completed the cave. Sweet. 